Welcome back to Houston Life. A local high school teacher is back from the Big Apple after receiving a Tony Award for Excellence in Theater Education. This is so exciting. Roshinda Jones-Kumba from Aldean ISD's Carver High School joins us now to chat about this remarkable achievement. Welcome, Miss Jones, to Houston Congratulations. Life. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And thank you. This is so great. Okay, so the award was the 2022 Excellence in Theater Education Award. A lot of people might be wondering, how does this happen? And, and they don't realize this word existed in the first place. Yes, you have to be nominated, but it was a complete surprise to me. I had no clue I was nominated. Jabari Collins, who's my technical director at the school, him and the kids got together and they nominated me. And then it went through a vetting process. They contacted my principal and then my principal had known for months oh. uh, about the making it a finalist and didn't tell me until a week before school was out. Oh, <laughs> And I got my. a call from the American Theater Wing and the Broadway League. Wow. This is so incredible. This is you at the 75th yes. Annual Tony Awards on Sunday. It was June 12th, of course, at the iconic Radio City Music Hall in New York City. The president of Carnegie, Carnegie Mellon University and Law Law and Order SUV actress Tamara Tooney handed you the award. Mm -hmm. I mean, when they called your name, when you got the award, that must have been a surreal moment for you. Pinch me now. Yes, it, it is truly what dreams are made of and what hard work and determination can do. And the reception from the audience was wonderful. A standing ovation from, and I was just truly grateful for that moment. We chatted before the show a little bit about your decision to become a theater director and how that all happened. You've been teaching now for 18 years. Yes. And I can imagine this is a little bit of a highlight. <laughs> um, but what really is most satisfying for you in your job every single day? Watching students reach their fullest potential because students walk in with different levels of experiences. But you may have a student who's shy, mm -hmm. who doesn't want to speak, but by the end of the year or the end of their four years, they have blossomed a a into this wonderful actress and person, actor, actress and person. They learn so much about themselves and they're able to go tackle the world and in whatever field they choose to go into. You know what's so great is it sounds like your story uh -huh. because this is exactly how you started I mean you went to uh, Prairie View A&M yes who was responsible for you you said you always wanted to be an educator but yes. how did you bring these two paths together so it was my freshman year in college I was a th I was an education major I was going to be an English teacher a high school English teacher and but I couldn't get theater out of my system I said I have to do it some way so I made it my minor but my theater professor the late Clarence Lee Turner he said Rashonda why don't you teach something that you absolutely love to do? And it was like a light bulb went off. And I said, you are exactly right. Instantly, I switched my major to theater, and then I got my certification right after graduations to teach. So it was the, truly the best of both worlds. And here you are with a Tony Award <laughs> after 18 years of doing what you love. I think it's an incredible story. And I'm glad you said what you did about preparing young people for yeah. life, because I was a theater kid, and I a lot of my cohorts and class, I mean, they wanted to, went on to have all kinds of careers. I think it's such a great confidence builder for mm -hmm. so many. It is, and, and it teaches you self-esteem, team building skills, working together as a group, so many life skills with taking a theater class. It's so true, having the confidence, standing on your own two feet, and also, you know what, a round of applause, because I know a few years ago, it was sort of like arts and theaters, and the classroom wasn't a thing. It was being uh, budgeted out, and here we are today. The reason why it should remain in our schools and uh, because of you you're teaching so many great kids okay so I guess we're headed over to the uh, to the stage. Yes. We have some sort of production that we're doing. Yeah, and since you have <laughs> counseled or coached so many theater <laughs> students oh through Lord. different theater scenes over the years, uh, Ms. Jones, we figured you could do something for us in a little game. We're calling In the Spotlight. So we each have four lines. We're going to act out a scene, and you will throw out a genre, mm -hmm. and we have to act out the scene in that genre. Correct. Okay. All right. Who's first? I think you are, Courtney. I am? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Are we doing it right here or are we moving somewhere? We're going to move over, I think, we're I think move we're over here. here. I'll yeah. step out of the way. Y'all okay. take okay. the stage. Why do you have toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> this is our first prop. Okay. Okay. And just remember to be yourself, relax, and listen and react. Okay? Our genre is physical comedy. 
There is a long road ahead for us. Should we stay or should we go? It's too late now. Why even bother? I think I messed up my lines. You did, but that's okay. Because wow. okay. they didn't know I did. did and you kept going. <laughs> that was good. That is it. You kept going. Okay, so here are the props for our second genre, Miss Jones. Now it's my turn. We're going to use the same lines, but act them out in a different genre. Yes. And I have this very tiny hat for my very large head. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Tragedy. There's a long road ahead for us. Should we stay or should we go? <gasps> it's too late now. Honestly now, why should we even bother? <sighs> <laughs> great job, great job. I was crying too. Yeah. Oh, you were moved. I Perfect. was. What's next? Do I get to drink poison? No. no. Oh. Our next one, we're going to do the oh, bonus. Oh, maybe the bonus. Oh, okay. Oh, I think you this poison your, was for me. You left your moonshine. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay, so same lines, different genre, okay. right? Mm hmm Okay. So. Okay. We're big on musicals at my school. We're going to do a musical oh, theater yes. thing. Oh, do it. There's a long road ahead for us. Should we stay or should we go? It's too late now. Honestly, <laughs> why do I even bother? <laughs> Your showgirl dreams have come true. <laughs> And scene. Good job, good job, bravo, bravo. Courtney wanted to be a showgirl when she was four years okay. old. Wanted. Still trying to live it's that dream. Never too late. Okay, wait. What's this one for? No props for this one. No. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 So this one is going to be pantomime, acting, oh. acting without words to tell our story. Okay. Glad you okay. got that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tony's here, but we're gonna have to accept this bottle of poison. No. Thank you, Miss Jones. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Bravo, thank you. Bravo. Yes. And we I do down. Down. I do hope you walk through Kroger with this. Yeah. Me too. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it was hey, lovely to meet you. Tony winner, Miss Jones. Exactly. You may have recognized me from Houston Life and the Tonys. <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, Derek. Thank Pleasure you to meet you. Pleasure Thanks to meet you. Thanks for the acting lessons. I know, we that needed was that fun. one. <laughs> to connect with Miss Jones, head over to the scene on Houston Life section of our website. That's Houston. Life.tv. And after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including celebrating NBC's hit show, Dancing with Myself.